This is a patient with severe peripheral vascular disease that ultimately required an above-knee amputation. The plan for analgesia is to do single-shot lateral femoral cutaneous and obturator nerve blocks, then place catheters for the femoral and sciatic nerves. I like to start with the single-shot blocks and then move on to the catheters. In patients with vascular disease this severe, it can be really challenging to identify the anatomy on ultrasound. Here we see a diseased and occluded femoral artery. When we scan lateral, we can identify the femoral nerve next to the artery. Lateral to the artery, we see the feather-shaped sartorius muscle. Moving a bit caudad, we see the fat pad just lateral to sartorius where we find the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. We'll place about 3 mLs of our local anesthetic mix next to the LFCN. Next, we'll move the probe back to the groin to orient ourselves to the anatomy for our single-shot obturator nerve block. Here we can identify the femoral artery and vein. Just medial to the vessels is the pectineus muscle. Medial to pectineus, we see the adductor muscles and the anterior and posterior branches of the obturator nerve. I've increased the depth a little for a better view of the posterior branch. Here we can visualize lower extremity edema that separated the fat planes between the muscles. We'll start by placing about 5 mLs of our local anesthetic mix next to the posterior branch of the obturator nerve. Once the posterior branch block is complete, we'll move our needle back and block the anterior branch of the obturator nerve with an additional 5 mLs of local anesthetic. Next, we'll move on to our femoral and sciatic catheters. Here again, we see the femoral nerve just lateral to the femoral artery. It doesn't have that really bright honeycomb appearance of a healthy nerve, but that is the femoral nerve. We'll advance through the fascia lata and fascia iliaca. From here, you can place the catheter above or below the nerve. It's my personal preference to block below the nerve. I think that high sciatic blocks can be intimidating to regional novices, but in this patient, the subgluteal sciatic catheter was actually the easiest of all four blocks. Even in patients with severe peripheral vascular disease, muscle atrophy, lower extremity edema, the position of your bony landmarks does not change. Here we can identify the sciatic nerve positioned like a hammock between the greater trochanter laterally and ischial tuberosity medially. From this posterior position, we see the nerve below the gluteus maximus muscle and above the quadratus femoris muscle. We'll advance in a lateral to medial direction and we feel a little pop as we pass through the posterior border of gluteus maximus. Here we'll place our local anesthetic above the sciatic nerve and our catheter anchors nicely above the nerve below the gluteus maximus muscle. 